Hello YouTube, my name is Tanner Fixit, and today I'm going to be teaching you about some EV training information. And I'm also going to give you an efficient and accurate process to EV train your Pokemon. Now, I am going to be using GameShark Coach for this tutorial. I'm using Visual Boy Advanced Link 1.8 on uh, PC. So all the things I'm going to be doing are possible without codes. You do not need codes to complete this tutorial. If you want codes, uh, this, is, this tutorial is not about using codes, so you're going to have to look those up on your own. But like I said, all the things are possible without codes. I'm just using them to speed up the process and give you guys a nice short tutorial instead of people that don't feel like watching a 45 minute video. So without further ado, let's get started. So, what are EVs? Well, EVs stand for effort values, and they determine your stat gain per level. As you can see, my Aeron is having a nice 17 attack boost to level 30 because it got a lot of attack EVs during that level. Um, they are determined by which Pokemon are battled, and I'll explain more on that later. But each Pokemon is going to give you a specific EV and a specific amount of that EV, which will go towards your stats when you level up. How do you calculate your EVs? Well, each Pokemon gives you specific EVs. Like I said before, uh, each Pokemon will give you a specific EV and a specific amount of that EV. Uh, some ones to name are Poochiana, which will give you plus one attack EV, or Spinda, which will give you plus one special attack. Uh, also, another way to gain EVs is through vitamins. Vitamins such as protein, calcium, zinc, iron, that kind of thing. They all add 10 EVs to the corresponding stat. So, for instance, if you take a protein, you're going to get 10 plus or plus 10 attack EVs. Uh, you're not going to notice any change right when you take it. You may notice like a 1 plus 1 stat gain or something like that. But it's going to be an overtime thing because when you level up, you cash in those EVs. Um, there are six types of EVs, one for each stat. There's HP, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed, obviously. And plus 4 EVs equals plus 1 of that stat point. So if you battle 4 Poochianas in one level and then level up, you're going to get plus 1 extra attack because each Poochiana gives you plus 1, plus one attack EV. You know, 1 times 4 equals 4, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. So, and then there's also a maximum cap of 20, 225, or 255, excuse me, uh, EVs per stat. It's recommended that you only do 252 because those extra 3, 4 divided by 3 is, or 3 divided by 4 is 0.75, and that's just going to get rounded down by the game, and it's going to equal nothing. So it's going to waste those 3 EVs that you could put into something else to even it out. Um, there's also a maximum of 510 EVs per Pokemon of, over all stats, all, all stats added up, like the sum. And it's the same thing with the uh, recommended 252. Like, let's let's do some math here. Uh, about about two, about uh, six of your EVs are gonna get wasted, meaning you're not gonna get any stats for them because they're gonna get rounded down. Um, and you're not going to see the full effect of your EV distribution until you reach level 100. Don't don't start your training and then halfway through it think, oh, this isn't working, I quit, because you're not getting the stats you thought you'd be getting. You're not going to see the full effect until you reach level 100, so just keep at it, you'll get there. So, what do you do if you haven't been tracking your EVs since the time you caught the Pokemon, or it was hatched, or whatever? You're going to want to use these things called antivitamin berries. They're the berries that say it increases your friendship, but decreases, insert stat here. Those are the antivitamin berries. They're going to reduce your stats EVs by 10. Contrary to what it says on the screen, it does not reduce at the time. It reduces your EVs for that stat. Again, like I said, with the, with the uh, vitamins, you may notice a small change like minus 1, but you're not going to see that change over time until you level up. Um, there are six berries, one for each stat. There's palm egg, which is HP. Kelsey reduces attack. Coilout reduces defense. Hundu reduces special attack. Graper reduces special defense. And Tomato reduces speed EVs. And you can use as many of these berries as you want. There's no limit to how many you can use per stat or per Pokemon, which is pretty nice because when if you're in your training and you mess up your EV distribution, you balance many one Pokemon, uh, you can use these to bury it back down and restart. Um, it's recommended to reset your Pokemon's EVs like this before you begin EV training if your Pokemon has seen battle before. So if like if you caught a Magnemite at level 15 and it's now level 30, you're going to want to reset its stats if you haven't been tracking them because you may have a bunch of EVs and a, and a stat that you really don't need, such as attack, because Magnemite is a special attacker. Um, and you can reset your EVs and put these put those 100 into something more useful, such as HP to complement its Steel-type defense or special attack to complement its Electric-type attacks. So this is somewhat relevant to uh, EV training. What else influences your stats? Well, there's natures. Natures, there's, well, let's see, 25 of them. And they all increase one stat and decrease another. Then the increase is by 10% and the decrease is by 10% as well. 
you can see the chart I have on the right here, they're, the ones down the middle are neutral natures, meaning they don't increase or decrease anything. Another way you can look at it is that they both increase and decrease the same stats, so it's pretty much cancels each other out. Um, you can use these natures, the neutral natures, to uh, if your Pokemon has pretty decent base stats, you don't want to mess with anything or sacrifice anything, and you just want to let things run their course, you can catch a Pokemon with a neutral nature. There's five of them, and I think they're pretty common. I mean, in my uh, in my Pokemon searching, I've caught a lot of Pokemon with these natures. It's pretty annoying when you're looking for a specific one. But, um, yeah, these natures can be used to do that. And uh, there's also something called individual values, which stand for IVs. These also influence your stats. There's one for each Pokemon stat, and they de they're determined when the Pokemon is generated, and they're specific to each Pokemon, obviously. And they can never, ever be changed. So they range from 0 to 31, with 31 being the best and 0 being the worst. And they determine growth without factoring in your EV or nature. So if your Pokemon has a 0 IV and HP, it's gonna, its HP is gonna increase really, really slowly, unless you don't have a nature. So you can use a nature or EV training to make up for this. And if it has a really high one, you may not want to invest that many EVs or catch a Pokemon with a nature that would benefit that stat because it already has a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice IV. So it's gonna go up by itself. That's all the information I have for you in related to EV training itself. And now we're gonna get into the process. So just give me a second, and I'll switch this up. Okay guys, we're back. And this is the second part of the tutorial. This is going to be the actual process. This is going to, an accurate process is going to help you keep track of everything and make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to. And uh, this also isn't scripted, so I'm going to make a lot of mistakes, and so please bear with me. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's get into the process. First, you are going to want a lot of berries, the antivitamin berries. Like I said, you're going to want a lot. I've been using codes to get a lot of them, so I can just spam them whenever I need to. Um, because we're going to use these to reset our Pokemon stats before we start training it. Like I said before, if you've been using a Pokemon for a while before you started to actually track its EVs, you're going to want to do this so you have so you get the right amount in each one. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these on our Pokemon, which is Sceptile by the way, and we're going to just use them all up until it says that the, the stat can no longer fall. If your Pokemon already adores you, it's just going to say it won't have any effect. If it doesn't adore you yet, it will say turn friendly, and then this, the base HP can't fall or whatever stat you're using. So it's going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. And we're back. Just have a few more berries to use. Now I've gone through every stat and used all the berries until the until the stat can't fall anymore. And I should be yeah, I'm done with the special defense and I'm gonna go on to speed. And speed's already base. So what we've just done is we've lowered all of our Pokemon's EVs to zero so we can start fresh and keep track of it from the start. Now you're gonna want to save your game. Very important. Save, always save, save is good. Save. And what we're going to do now is we are going to actually take a look at our Pokemon's new stats because we've just lowered them all. And we're going to plug them into the first link in the description, which is the Pokemon IV calculator. This is going to help us find out our, in, our, our influence, our, um, our individual values, which I, as I said earlier, those are the values that calculate your Pokemon stats without using EVs or nature. And so we're going to go ahead and fill in this information according to our Sceptile, or whatever Pokemon you're using here. Level 45, 119, 90, 74. And this is going to plug in these numbers that we're giving it into the equation. To find out what our stat needs, to, to find out what our influence value or influence, God, I don't keep saying that. Individual value is in these EVs. You need to leave it zero because we just lowered them all to zero. And our Pokemon's nature is going to be quiet, so we're going to select quiet. That does matter. Don't forget that. And submit. Now this is going to give us a range of our possible IVs, and you can see here he has a pretty crappy uh, HP or HP IV. And special attack and special defense, but his other ones are pretty nice. These are these. This one's in the middle, and then these two are in the upper end. So that's pretty good. Pretty nice speed. Um. All right. So after we've done that, 
we're going to take these values and plug them into the second link, which is the Pokemon IV or Pokemon Stat calculator by SciPoke's website, that place. So we're going to fill in the same information using our Pokemon. So tell where are you at? There it is. Level 45, and we're going to put in our instead of instead of putting on our uh, stats here, we're going to put our IVs in here. DVs is the same thing. It's just said differently. I don't know what it stands for. We're going to use the minimum. Always use the minimum here. That way you're not coming up shorthanded and the equation is telling you it's going to be this or higher. Uh, one, two, six, and 25. And we're going to choose our nature, which is going to be quiet. Not quirky. Quiet. And submit. Now make sure that the numbers it's make sure the numbers it's giving you here is very similar to what it's giving you here. And they are, so we're good. Alright, so here's where we're going to plan out our EV training. Basically we're gonna tell it how many EVs we're gonna give it and basically see how it's gonna affect our stats. So we're gonna look at our IVs and our nature and see what we need to train in. And as we can see we have a pretty crappy HP value here. So we're going to add some, uh, some IVs in here, we'll say 110. Um, remember, two, max of 252 per stat, and we're going to have max of 510 total. And so, in attack, we're going to, because it had, knows mostly contact moves, Leaf Blade and Giga Drain, it's going to learn later. Um, we're going to add, let's see, 190, 190 EVs here. And because of the special defense, I'm kind of worried about that because one of his weaknesses is being fire, and fire is a mostly special attack type. So we're going to add some EVs in here, a lot of them. We'll say 220. No, 210. That would be over 5. There we go. And that should about do it. So we're going to click submit and see how this is going to affect our stats. Alright, so we have. Pretty nice boost to HP. Um, a really good boost in our attack. That's about 20. Very nice boost in uh, special defense. It's over 20. Well, about 20, yeah. Um, and our speed is unaffected because we didn't put anything in that. And yeah, so we're gonna use these values. These values look good to me. Where they look pretty nice. Um, all right. So we're gonna go back to our Pokemon. And now we're going to actually, we're not going to go back there yet. We're going to go to our Poke Notes, which you should have been keeping from the time you started training your Pokemon to keep track of everything. And here I've already recorded these because I've decided before I made the video what we're going to do. Uh, this Pokemon here is the Pokemon we're going to train against because, like I said in the first part of the tutorial, each, each Pokemon gives you a specific amount of EVs. You can find out which Pokemon will give you what EV, EV by going to the third link in the description, which will take you to Cerebi.net. And it lists, it, got, it actually has a lot of information here that I'm, I didn't go over. I just summed it all up. But, um, so we're going to go here and we're going to what see what we need. We need HP. We're going to see which Pokemon gives us HP. And I found Nidoqueen, which gives you three. Now I'm going to be using Game Shark codes through our Wild Pokemon modifier to make it to where Nidoqueen always appears. Um, if you're not using codes, you may want to pick a more common Pokemon, like Caterpie. It gives you one point. I don't know how common that is, because I don't play second gen games, but uh, you can figure that out. Or, you know, any other Pokemon that's common and easy to kill. So, after you've done that, after you figured out which Pokemon you need, Nino King gives us attack, and Ludicolo gives us special defense. <laughs> Shut up, droid. We are going to go, uh, we're going to go to the Slateport City. What am I doing? Slateport City. If I can ever get there, we are going to go to Slateport City, and we're gonna to go to the Energy Guru, which is located in the uh, shop place. This lady always blocks my path. I think that should be this So. We are going to buy the stats that our Pokemon needs. So, like I said, we need HP EVs, so we're going to buy 11. Exactly 11. You're going to need a lot of money for this. I'm using a cheap for infinite money, so... Yeah, so we're going to need 11 of these. 
and make sure you get 11 because I'm going to help you check how check to make sure you have the right or you reset it completely. 11 because we need the attack, so we're going to 11, 11 protein and 11 zinc because he needs special attack. All right, so we're going to go to our bag. And we're, I'm just going to move these all next to each other to make this easier to manage. I'm going to even these out make, to make sure I have 11. I do not recommend you just throw them away like this because you probably spent a lot of hard-earned money on it, unlike me who just used cheat codes. Uh, three. All right, so we have 11 of each one. Now we're going to go ahead and use all these on our Pokemon. And if we are doing this correctly, or if we have done everything up to this point correctly, we should have one remaining. The last one we try to use will say it won't have any effect. And we did it right. No, not, no, don't toss. Okay, use the same thing for everyone, for all of the things you just bought. Use them on your Pokemon. Basically what we're doing here is we're giving a nice boost. Because each vitamin gives you uh, plus 10 EVs in that stat, we basically just cut the amount of training we have to do by half. And we're gonna have we're gonna start off with 100 HP EVs, 100 attack EVs, and 100 special defense EVs, which means we only need to train for about uh, let's see, 90 plus 10 is 100 plus the 210. Or plus 110. So we need to train for about 220 EVs, which is pretty nice considering we would have had it done all 510 if we didn't do this. So now that we've used all those and we have one remaining, to make sure that we put 10 into each one um, to keep track of it. So now we have 100 EVs in each stat. So write this down. Make sure you have track of that. 100 EVs in each stat. We are going to go back to where we're going to fight our Pokemon. Which would be Petalburg. Uh, we're gonna go back to Petalburg. Well, where I'm gonna fight a Pokemon. You you can fight them anywhere you want, but I'm gonna fight around Petalburg because there's a Pokemon Center right here in case I need to heal. Um, we are gonna go fight our Pokemon. Now remember, if you were only gonna put 100 EVs into one stat and you just use 10 vitamins, you don't need to train in that stat anymore. So, for instance, how I just how I only plan for 110 EVs or 110 EVs and uh, HP, we just used we just put in 100 of those with the vitamins. And now we only need to train for 10. The same goes for our special defense. We were going to train for 210. Now we only need to train for 110. So make sure you take that into account. Also, make sure you take into account the uh, if you're using a Macho Brace, it will double your EV gain. So keep track of that. And also, you should know how many EVs you'll be getting from each Pokemon because you should have looked this up. Like I just gave you the Cerebi, uh, the third link in the description. So you should have, you should have all that written down and ready to keep track of. And now for the grinding, we're gonna go fight our Pokemon. And I'm back. I skipped all the grinding because you probably don't want to watch that. Quick attacking a whole bunch of uh, weak, weak, helpless Pokemon. But um, so now that we've done our training. We are going to rare candy our Pokemon, which I've also already done, to make it increase by one level. And we are going to look at its stats. And we're going to go back to our stat calculator with the same values plugged in and make sure that all of our values check out. So make sure they're all really similar because, like I said, it's a range. So it's not going to be exact most of the time, but you should get something really close. So let's see here. We go at 132 HP. We've got 111 attack, that matches up. 74, 110, 107, and 111. So we have EV trained our Pokemon according to our plan, which means we've done it correctly. And if that's and if you've done it right, then you should have 510 EVs. But just to check, we're gonna go back to Slateport City. Give me just a second. We're going to go back to Slateboard City, and we're going to go talk to the lady next to the Energy Guru. I believe it's the uh, Ace Trainer in the later generations. But if you, have, if you have maxed out your EVs for your Pokemon, meaning you have 510, she will say this to you.
and that means you have you are completely done training your Pokemon. You don't need to do any more training. You can just rare candy up to level 100 if you want, and there will be no negative consequences. Because you know how people say that if you if you rare candy your Pokemon, it won't have the same stats as one that was trained traditionally. That's because of the EVs. So, but because we've maxed out our EVs just now, we don't need to worry about that. That's that doesn't affect us anymore. And so we can rare candy to whatever level we want, and it won't hurt us at all. So that concludes my tutorial. Uh, I hope it was helpful to some of you. Uh, post a comment or message me. You know, if there's something I need to clarify, if I get enough uh, responses for this, I may start a channel with tutorials relating to video games. So if you have any other ideas for videos, please send me those as well. Um, until next time, peace out.